everybody and welcome back my name is sue and i'm from oml embroidery and over at the computer is don hello hello he if i says. don't say it right i'll get yelled at just by karina that's okay oh okay <laughs> so everyone's having a nice chat i see that's fine that works Ooh, we ever washed out what'd you do uh, no. I'm not actually that white. <laughs> well, we're not going to be here too long. So, flash from the past. This one, this mug rug was really popular. And, wow, we were slowing down. Oh, is YouTube, is YouTube going to give us a hard time? All right, go to the other camera then. That's kind of weird. Thanks, you two. <laughs> so there we go. Yay, that one works. This is our second camera. So this is going to be my coffee cup color. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I thought it would be fun. Candy. I don't know if my piece is big enough. And then we're going to do a pretty turquoise background. So this is going to be really bright. And I love it. So let's get started. How's the view, Don? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You guys can see Bjorn sitting there. Hi, Bjorn. What's it? What's Bjorn got stuck on? Uh, a sticker saying it's bunny time for when I was stitching the lavender brown oh. quilt. So, all right. So that works. I'm happy with that. We can position that anywhere. Maybe I'll give you guys a tour at one point. I think it would be a whole lot of fun. But at least you can see my screen now. And when I change uh, threads, you'll be able to see that too. I am going to use a little bit of metallic thread, but I think it'll be fun. Okay, so five by seven hoop. Um, you can go on to omlembroidery.com and grab this mug rug. All the nurses really love this one. I had a little stash of them because they're fun to make. They really thought this was funny. So <laughs> just so you know, ooh, we would love a tour. Well, I've given you guys a little bit of a tour. We're about to make changes at Christmas. So once I do that, I will grab the gimbal and give you guys a lovely tour of my workspace, which is hopefully going to be a lot neater than what it is now. <laughs> so, it's getting yay. down to crunch time, so things get disaster -y. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit, a little bit. Still working on stuff. So bobbin check, bobbin's full. WSS, because it's a satin stitch finish. And uh, just the regular hoop. Uh, 7 11 needle never change it and let's go so the first step is the outline now this one has a really cool shape it's kind of fun so I like it did you switch cameras yeah I like the positioning of this I like it I love this shape I'm, I'm thinking it's awesome. It's different. Awesome, yeah. It's a nice old-timey sign shape. So, we're go and I'm using black so you guys can see it. It's not going to match anything that I'm doing, but if I used white, which is what I would normally use on this, uh, you guys won't be able to see anything. So, batting, and I'm using just warm and natural with lovely sized pieces cut up by Debbie Mitchell. Thank you, as always, Debbie Mitchell. It still makes my day. Years later, still makes me happy. Uh, yeah, I really do love this shape. It's awesome. You, you smile every time you go into that drawer and pull one out. Yep. I do. Because it's like, oh, I don't have to cut up. I don't have to do it. Although the sweet pea rulers makes everything easy. It's just simply easier if someone else does it, right? That's about how it goes. <laughs> that's about how it goes. So that's nicely stitched down. Now I am going to trim these two, whoops, after. So the next step is I'm going to go back because that uh, didn't work. So put your batting down, then stitch it uh, for sure. That's well, okay. We'll just go back. And 
put our fabric down and then stitch it down. Whoo, I hope the camera shows this color well enough done because it is awesome. It's pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty Not close. too bad. I should have looked at the design before I started, but, you know, I didn't. Typical me, but if you run into that, just rewind a little bit. It's fine. I made the mug rug for the ladies in my office. They love them. <laughs> and the gingerbread family. Yeah, the gingerbread family is probably my favorite, I think. Maybe not, but almost. I like the size of this one, and it's big enough for a cup, so I think it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, little dance. Now we're going to go trim, so we're going to go trim. back to the desk, Don. We're going to trim. Trim, trim, trim. I think the coffee cup is going to look fantastic with all this candy on it. For sure. So, yes, offices and stuff like that, people just love this one because it's true. You, a lot of people run on coffee, especially during the holidays, right? Especially. You're, you're very vocal today, Don. No. No, you're not. <laughs> you're just repeating what I'm saying. You've had two coffees, right? I heard you say... I'm just starting the second. Oh, that's why. A little, little bit delayed. The, the early morning coffee problems for the stitch out. That's okay. I already made a mistake of my own design, so I win. Yeah. I win. That's okay. Uh, mistakes. Mistakes. I'm hoping to finish my Hoffman slash Stitch Delight um pattern project today i'm hoping it's getting a little awkward because i'm doing around the edges so it's kind of hard to maneuver around but it's looking good i'm really happy with it this will be my first one that i finished so i like it look at that not a bad trimming day I should have waited to say that, Sorry, but dust cam froze. Dust cam froze. It I, well, it's just going to be that kind of day, isn't it? Isabel, thank you very much. So, okay, back to the machine then. Yeah, it froze. It I look good though. You did. Okay, so now we're back at the machine, Don. Yeah. All right. Can you switch to the other camera? Oh, I was just on it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, well, make up your mind, man. Now, my cup is going to be metallic red. I was frozen for a long time. It's still frozen on mine. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to put the King Star metallic red because it's uh, fantastic and, you know, metallic thread. Enough said. Thank you, Isabel. And I think think it's going to look really good with that fabric. Someone pointed out it matches the dog. Yes, it does. It's kind of cool doing it this way. So the first step is we're going to stitch out right here the handle for the cup. So let's go ahead and do that. I think it's cool you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I think it's awesome. Perfect. Ooh, I think the red's going to look really good with the turquoise snowflakes oh yeah beautiful beautiful awesome Lynn oh yeah it's kind of lovely outside so sorry I'm late Jill hello for December I know it's weird isn't it it's more mild today than I was yesterday I noticed that when I was up at 5.30 with the hounds. It's okay, better than you than me, bub. I know. So, okay. One coffee mug, then we should be doing the applique next. We are. 
so the first part of the applique is the placement. So we knew, know where to put everything, anything. Um, this is a scrap, by the way, from doing the gingerbread dog, just in case if you were wondering. I keep the scraps for little appliques. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. All right, little scraps dance. Are good. Yeah, I know, especially when you can use them up. And, like someone said, this will match, which makes me think, wouldn't that be, like, awesome for a gift or anything to have matching decorations and mug rugs oh yeah I'd why that. not yeah beautiful jeff chandler's here hey. jeff chandler we haven't seen him for a long time <laughs> is the dust camera fixed or no uh, no okay well i will trim it maybe you could put the camera two on I'll and put like the camera two on and I can trim, can't really see it. All right, I can't trim like that, so. I can attempt to fix that. No, can, no, I don't want to make any other issues. Yeah, so. could, you, could you not? So we'll leave it. There's only, there's only one here and we'll, that's fine. It's not, I How, However, this camera shot is quite nice. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> But this is why I never recommend doing it at the machine because there's no way you can get a nice enough cut like this. I know there's a lot of space, but it's just not the hey, same. Thank you, Jill. It's not the same. So I hacked a little bit there. Oh, but look at my cute coffee cup, though. I love it. All right, Judy Quilt. <laughs> who is free motion quilting. Maybe she's listening so she won't see the fuzzies. Oh, well, I could have left them <laughs> then. Nah, I should anyway. So I fussy placed this just a little bit, and I really like it. I really, really do. So nice. we're going to do a little zigzag to hold everything down. And then... We are going to do satin stitches. So even with just the, the handle in the the metallic is awesome. Well, I don't know why it stops. Who designed this? I'm protesting. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It didn't need to stop there. It should be continual. I guess Thank there was you, Sandy. a color change, but you know. Thank you, Sandy. Awesome. Do you guys realize how close it is to Christmas? <laughs> like two weeks. Is it two weeks? Yeah, from today. Guess we should get Christmas shopping. Right. Two weeks from yesterday, so thirteen days. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Not gonna be a bit of a homemade Christmas because we can't like really it. go anywhere I so nice. I like it. yeah our kids are old enough they can they can enjoy it that way plus I made a uh, baby Yoda hat and right now I'm making uh, crocheting um, octopus hat I'm, I'm, I'm knitting myself a <laughs> loom knitting loom yourself. Knitting. That's fine. I started crocheting. Though. You're a good teacher. Love the coffee cup. Yes. All right, everyone out there, click the like button. Every like helps, and it's free. And you guys are the only ones that can do it. But it really helps out the channel if you watch it and you like it. Click like. The more likes I have, the more. Uh, YouTube will pass the video around and yes I do believe this is the cutest coffee cup ever I like this even better than the first one the colors I picked yeah. Thank you, Judy we have wiener dog Christmas cups that we use well we use them all the time finally off the phone well that's good <laughs> that's good Judy Quilt, thank you very much. You guys are awesome. So, 
we're going to do, we got to change thread. So that's all I'm doing for the metallic thread. It's Be a very Christmassy coffee mug. Yeah, because I want the metallic to stand out. And if you use metallic everywhere, then it's not going to stand out. So I'm going to take my Kingstar metallic off and put it aside and I'm gonna put on white because there's a little bit of steam. If you don't want the steam in it, you can just skip it, but I'm gonna do it because a steaming hot cup of coffee is what the elves need for sure, for sure. This elf needs more. It does, yeah. <laughs> I noticed, Don. So are we gonna switch out the dust cam then? Cause that's yes. like the third time this morning it's pooped out. Yeah, we're gonna. Awesome. I do love this camera, the second camera. I love it. So just a little bit of satin stitches for it. When it does the lettering, I'm gonna put the magnifier on. Oh, the white looks good with the turquoise. I got a little bit of pulling there, but I think it'll be able to cover up in the end. We'll see. That may be a boo-boo. Jill says, sorry if I missed it, but where can I purchase the design? Oh, it's omlembroidery.com. All right, so... The mods are putting the links in. Yes, thank you, mods. We love you guys. So this and coffee... Uh, can you go to camera two, Don? So this and coffee are different colors. So there's color stops on it and then the elf runs on. So you can do whatever you want for the lettering. Now I'm not going to do red. So I'm going to do all of this white and then I'm going to do the coffee in this brown. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you have choices. I always like to add extra color stops uh, so you can, you know, customize it, make it easier. But if you don't want to, then you certainly don't have to. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to skip it. Skip the color change for two of them. And then I think coffee should, should be in brown. A nice brown. <laughs> a coffee colored brown. Sarah J says I think the cameras need names. Maybe need what? Names. Oh. Because they're temperamental. <laughs> Maybe. We try not to acknowledge them because they are so <laughs> tough. They're worse than the machines are. Uh, I don't know why dust cam isn't working. That's a Logitech, so we'll yeah, trade that out. And it's the choppy. We just can't win. No. Ooh, I like the lettering. Oh, white looks really good. It's nice and bright. I'm going to do white for the outside as well. Nice. Check and re-thread the upper thread. Okay. Uh-oh. I don't know what that's about, but okay. I will do that. Something slipped. It's kind of staticky in here. Maybe it's dry. You need to go lay down, Mr. Mr. Tank. He's staring at me under the monitor. Under the monitor. <laughs> All right. Re-threading. Don't know what happened. I kind of saw it happen, but I don't know what happened. Thank you, Chris Yost. Chris Yost. Hello and thank you. So, I should probably... No, go on. You're not crawling under my desk, please. I'm gonna rewind a little bit. See if that problem's fixed. I'm just listening. That's why I stopped talking. So, sorry. Yeah, something just slipped. That's okay. So, ELF is a big lettering and I love the font. It's so pretty. I don't even know what it's called. I'd have to look it up. Oh, are we ready for magnification, Don? Oh, yes. Oh, 
except for your camera position is different, but that'll work. Does it work? Yeah, that's okay. Looks like I booped the camera, which... It looks like it's closer than normal, but that's okay. Oh, it looks still good. perfect. Yeah, it looks awesome. Looks like uh, Captain Jack has glasses on. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I like it. I might need to clean them, but... Good morning. Can't wait to watch the replay. Yay! Fab view. Yeah, it just doesn't get any better than that, does it? You can... That's about as close as it gets for zooming in. It's, it's close up. Yeah, I know. Which is awesome. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's really cool, actually. For the camera, it's so clear, too. I need the magnifier. Um, yeah. I need it mostly for sewing, but, um, I don't s often sew on this, on my Luminaire, because I have another one. Unless I wanted to do something Disney, but I have another one right behind me here. Um, and it doesn't have the spot for the, uh magnifier so I just use a little bit of duct tape who cares right as long as it works as as it holds. yeah and it's nice to be able to really see everything I really enjoy it it's really nice magnifier. yeah I don't know if it's worth the money but brother stuff is expensive, stuff is expensive I know it's good stuff but really <laughs> yeah I know I know for sure Jackie Cheek, thank you very much. Yay! Both for the purchase details, I was looking at the wrong section. <laughs> There's a lot of mug rugs on omlembroidery.com. There are a lot. Did everyone check out my Wednesday vlog video? The fixed one? It was the first day I said, I said to the admins, it, it seriously it was my first day with my new software yeah. and I clicked one button and then rendered it and I didn't think that one button would change everything but it did so I won't do that again lesson yeah lesson learned the hard way the time consuming way but you know for sure uh, if you haven't checked out that video go check it out it's awesome it's a lot of information about stitching the uh, Hoffman panel. Oh, nice. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. I love that panel. It's beautiful. They all are. They all I have two more to do, and one of them is orangey. That'll look in the living room. That'll look good anywhere. Are you kidding me? I know. We're going to need a bigger living room for all the stuff I've done. I know. <laughs> That's okay, though, for sure. Nice view with the magnifier, uh, Isabel says. Yes. Alicia says the edited version is perfectly perfect. Yes, thank you, Alicia. I appreciate that. It was seriously, I clicked one button and I didn't think anything of it. I just kind of grouped all, all the segments that I edited and I won't do that again. <laughs> I just won't. I just won't. The mic is acting up. Misha, I led a three-hour binding workshop. Oh, I want to go to that Judy quilt. Although, I'm getting better at it. I still have zero confidence in that. So, hanging quilt saves wallpapering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just thinking about that. We have brick panels up on our living room, which is gorgeous. So it looks like, you know, hanging up quilts on a brick panel. Do you like this font? Isn't it awesome? I love it, yeah. I think it's gorgeous, so yes. I think I need one on the binding lessons. Fine now, yeah, it is um, probably YouTube giving us a hard time. Why? Because it can for sure. Is camera two still rocking? I don't turn to it, but it's still working. Uh, yep. yep. All right. Because last time we had a problem with it, it froze. But 
There we go. It has an excuse at least because it's wireless. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was hard to get it going. We got it. Oh. Maybe I should stick my iPad up there. <laughs> you can take better pictures than that one. <laughs> I know. I know. We have the hardest time. It's annoying. We, we expect too much. What we need is a DSLR camera, and then we'd have no problems, but we won't be getting those. I, one is expensive, yes. Well, you know, maybe I can use camera two for the desk one if it becomes reliable. Look at that beautiful stitching. I love it. I found out that there's more to binding than meets the eye. I found this out to my cost last week. Yeah, binding. I don't know. I, I think I've got it now. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got it. And I'm happy with the results. And I managed it on the lavender brown quilt. So uh, I was like, because I put that off, I, I put it off for a long time, <laughs> a month probably, doing the biting because I was so scared of uh, messing it up, but I didn't. And then I went, oh, and then I went and did a video on it, so yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that is a perfect view. I love it. Time for me to leave. I have class starting in a half an hour. Please post your mug rugs. Have a great weekend. Those in the Midwest, please stay safe. Will you have a wonderful day, Sandy? Thanks for joining in, of course. And stay safe to you too, for sure. Judy Quilt, I wish your guild wasn't so far away. We don't have that here. I thought I'd look it up and see if it exists in Canada or Ontario, like a quilter's guild. But we don't even have a quilting store, per se, in this town. So I'm not sure. I don't know. But I thought that would be fun. Although, I told you a new quilting store opened in Windsor. Yeah. Which is cool. All right, camera two for a color change. Sarah is asking if Lavender loved her quilt. Lavender loved her quilt. She was, how would you put it, Don? You were there. In awe? Yeah. That's the best way to put it. Yeah, she was just, she, the way I packaged it, because I don't do normal stuff, I put it in a book. So from Michael's, it's a hollowed out book. And it's all glittery and beautiful. And I managed to put the quilt in there. And I folded it so the quilt label showed first. And she just stood there staring at it. The quilt label. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> girl, you got open it up. Open it up. And she was like, oh, bunnies, bunnies. And then Dawn pointed out it was lavender brown. And she, she, the look on her face was just like, oh my God. So I'm going to say it's a definite yes. For sure. Did you switch cameras? Yeah. Pay attention. I was reading. <laughs> she loved it and her grandparents were there at the wedding and yeah. apparently they loved it even more so it was kind of cool well worth the effort the colors are spectacular uh and she loved the inside joke for it and of course she loved all the bunnies benny bunny, benny bunny. and at the end don told her that there was videos on it and she just it was too much for her at that point I, I told her it was yeah, everyone knows what the lavender brown quilt is, for sure. You could search it on YouTube and come up with my stuff, for sure. Um, I think that's funny, but she said that they were going to look it up. And I thought, well, heck yeah. 
But she thought that was neat. She wanted to see how it was made. I'm like, well, <laughs> it's a long watch. I didn't do too many videos on it, but yeah. So, it's amazing how touched people are to receive handmade items that have a personal touch just for them. Yes, for sure. You know what? For sure. She was um, in awe. And so was her, it's going to sound weird, her husband, Kellen. He just stood there and went, wow. He didn't say anything more. He's a quiet man. but a man of few words. Yeah, he's a man of few words, but a nice man. Um, it made it all worth it. It really did. And I'm, I'm so happy I had the perfect colors. And really thankful, too, that I had perfect bunny designs. She thought they were quite groovy. So that was the Animal Adventure. It was an add-on design. The Animal Adventures are adorable. I, I didn't really have anyone to stitch Animal Adventures out, but when I saw uh, Benny Bunny, I'm like, done! I know what I'm doing. Done! And it's a two-color quilt, which was a challenge, too. You're doing amazing. Yeah, yeah. I spent all morning unpacking the binding and intend to practice on this piece. Practice is good. Practice is good. Take a deep <laughs> breath. You got it. If I can do it, anyone can do it. It just takes a little bit of practice. For sure. I'm glad I did the coffee in brown. That's... Oh. Perfect. Perfect. All right, I am going to take the magnifier off. Just pulls out, except for I'm having trouble. There we go. It just pulls out, and you can see, like, an overview of it. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, so the next step is just an outline. Can you go to camera two? It is up. So it's just an outline. <laughs> so I know this is, we're getting towards the end, and this is where we want to put the backing on. So I'm changing my thread first, because I don't want to use the brown, because I'm going to finish it in white, because I think that would look awesome. And I really don't want the brown showing through. So there we go there we go so what i'm gonna do is take my backing fabric and i just picked like a cute red one face down so pretty side down and i'm just gonna gently lift my hoop up you have to be careful doing that and slip it underneath and because i actually trimmed everything you can see that it fits perfectly now i don't tape or do anything for these it just makes it faster and it saves you the time this is how i do it so awesome see you can see through where the fabric is i could have placed it a little more frugally probably but i didn't so what are you gonna do right is the desk camera still frozen yeah all right i see your hand in it <laughs> still yeah Thanks for nothing, desk cam. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so I guess camera two is the best option. So the first thing I do is check to make sure nothing, you know, folded over like that. And I'm going to give it a quick trim at the machine because we have no desk cam. So I can't say, Don, back to the desk because you can't see me. <laughs> I'd probably get a better trim, but that's okay. Satin stitches, Lynn, our Lynn's favorite stitch in the world, usually covers up everything. This is also when you should change your bobbin to match your top thread, whatever color you're going to use. And, wow, yep, all right, I cut through the WSS there because... I did. I cut through. I'm going to tape that. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I did. I poked right through. This is why I don't cut at the <laughs> machine. Because that was far too easy to do. 
I want everything to line up. But yeah, that's how you ruin a mug rug <laughs> at zero hour. I should be using my scissors the other way. Um, I have them for a reason. Let's see how bad the damage is. It's pretty good. It's pretty extensive. So let's see if we can patch it up. I'm just going to grab some masking tape that I do keep handy. And I'm going to very carefully try to fix it. What? Uh, I was just trying to get a better shot of it, but it, you're off on both cams. So. Yeah, well, it's important. Yeah. There we, we go. We can see that. So now I'm going to push it down. And that should do. I'm just going to have to pick out tape. So what not to do when you're finishing your mug rug. Use your scissors properly. <laughs> <laughs> and don't poke the stabilizer. And don't poke the stabilizer. But you know what? Everyone does it. This is the first time in a long time I've done it, but it's because I have to trim at the machine, and I honestly never do that. And that's why. That's why. So it'll get sorted out. The tape will give it just enough support to uh, hold it until the satin stitches get on, and everything should I be fine. The machine, but I got the tape on it, so. What's that? So I trim at my machine when I do applique, but I have the tape on it. Do you have a luminaire? No, I have it's a different. I it's have a different. I have a multi needle oh. with a table. I just <laughs> don't use it for recording because. The few times that we had to when McDreamy I, was gone, I, I, I couldn't talk afterwards because I had to shout. It's kind of loud. It's kind of loud, yes. But I like McDreamy. The only time I use the uh, multi-needle now is if I have like a big project that I can just let stitch, then I just let the machine do it. But it's here, and I love it, so Don had it for a while, and I was like, give it back. Give it back. He need to put, needed to put some mileage on it. I did. Yes. I did put mileage on it and give it back. On second batch of ravioli dough, time for the dough to rest, and I can too. Ravioli dough. Making homemade ravioli. Mm. I haven't had ravioli. Mmm. No. Idea? No. no. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what day is it today? It's Saturday, of course. Our Saturday sew along. I'm really happy with the white outside. Yeah, that looks really good. So if you're looking, see how much the coffee mug stands out? That's what your eye is going to be drawn to. The cute, sparkly, candy-filled coffee mug. And that's what you want. Mm-hmm. I like the white on the inside. Yeah, that's going to frame it just perfectly now. Yeah. And I'm glad I kept the lettering, the this one color. So yeah, what stands out is the word coffee and the sparkly coffee mug. So it's awesome. Jackie A says it's nice to see no biggie on a mistake and then out of work there. Especially from the next. Yeah, when well. You're a newbie that's watching. Yeah, everyone makes makes mistakes, and I've I've never said that I'm perfect. And you know what? A lot of people when they make videos and they make a mistake, they edit it out, and I don't. And that's another reason why we do so many lives, because <coughs> it is what it is. If our machine breaks, and which when, has happened, when you do live, usually something. <laughs> yeah, something's gonna happen. For sure. But a little piece of masking tape does the trick. As long as you see the mistake. I cut it a bit short too on a little part. It's Actually, nice that part. Yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, the important thing, y you will make a mistake. Nobody's perfect. It's gonna happen. Troubleshooting, staying calm, and fixing it with, you know, even a hack together solution like what I did. So the problem was I cut through the WSS. And if I was to leave it 
it's going to stretch and probably rip more, which means my stitches wouldn't line up. So I could have put another piece of WSS underneath it just to give it support when it's stitching, or a piece of tape just to give it support. I opted for the tape because it's going to hold it together in the right spot while we're doing it. Now we still might get a little bit of the stitches like not quite going in perfectly, but it, you won't be able to tell. So yeah, just yeah. It's always a surprise. Oh, Lynn saying movie night. Yes. What movie will you be watching? Um, mistakes is how we learn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody makes mistakes. It's not a big deal. People think it's like a bad thing to make a mistake, whereas I don't. It's just fix it or start again. And I try to fix it. And usually I can, but it's going to happen. So don't even worry about it. Just go for sure. I love the idea of movie night with friends. Yes, we uh, have movie night every Saturday night with Lynn and we watch whatever movie. Usually we try to scary one so Lynn can throw her food everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We all do that. Hashtag no. <laughs> Hashtag no. Um, and we take turns bringing goodies and little treats and it's wonderful. Thank you, Sue, for not cutting it out. Hard to do live. Uh, I did this on my first ornament. Yeah, no, I don't edit anything like that. The only time I, when I'm recording a video that I edit is if I forget what I was talking about because I got interrupted, I will edit that out. Or if I'm just babbling on about nothing, which I tend to do, I guess. I cut that out, but... Mistakes stay in. You can find them on all the recorded videos. But that's why we like to do the lives because, all right, a camera is going to go out. <laughs> Something's going to happen and we just deal with it. So the important part is to stay calm. So we're getting into the danger zone here. So you can see just before it here, you can see that it is pulled. And that's because there's it's still weak. A little bit. Still worked. I'm just looking. We'll examine it. The other thing is don't be too hard on yourself. What you notice is probably not what other people are going to see. So I explained a lot of that in the last... Uh, video I did with the blooms because I drove myself crazy doing the leaf one. Now I made mistakes. I, I didn't have the top at the top and I kept moving everything around to make it fit. But I was also going for 100% perfection and I couldn't do it because I had made a previous mistake. So I'm like, wow, I, I gave up. What? Go ahead and finish your... What? You just said you all need to watch Red Notice. It's a comedy for Ryan Reynolds. That's what we just watched. Red Notice is we watched awesome. Last week with yep. And look at that. So let's let's compare. No, we don't have the desk, right? Happy music! Yay, happy music. So before and hoop it. Is that a good shot, Don? Uh, up a little bit. Uh, let me take it out. Sorry, a little bit awkward. So let's see how my tape fix did. So nice. I, you could see a little bit here. Do you see how it dips? Yep. Yeah. But no one's going to notice that. So it worked pretty well. Now, honestly, if I had, you know, accidentally cut more it would be more difficult. But you can see the satin stitches are nicely lined up here and then they're a little bit flatter there. But that's not anything anyone's going to notice at all. 
The back shows it even less. Yeah, nice fix. Yeah, good enough. You know, I would still gift this to someone. This one, of course, is going to go to the to hospice. But, yeah, I still would because no one is going to notice that. It is a good enough fix. So as long as it's only, you know, an inch or under, if it was more than that, it wouldn't hold it. You can see how much strain. Let's see if I can hold it up like that. See how much strain there was on the WSS? Yeah. Uh, I can just pull it apart like that, which is cool. But, yeah, that's because it was pulling harder on that part because this part was weaker. So that's fine. See, if you notice on the underside, there hardly is any of that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, quick fix. It is good enough. No one will ever be able to tell that. I mean, I can and you can because I've pointed it out, but it doesn't look that much different. So, yeah, there you go. It looks good Fixed. To me. I love the colors. I love the shape. I love the white stands out. And most of all, I love my little cup. I think that is awesome. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. It's so kind of nice. now all I have to do is take the pick the tape out and I don't have to on there, but pick the tape out here on the back and uh, give it a good soak and hang it up to dry and it'll be ready for the ladies at the nurses at hospice to enjoy themselves. So yeah, never panic. The point is don't ever panic. It can be fixed, and if it can't, well, then you learn something. You learn what not to do. So, thanks everyone for watching. Head on over to omlembroidery.com and pick up your uh, mug rug. This was super easy and fun to do. Nice colors, just a little bit of sparkle there. Um, and don't forget to give a, this video a like. It was awesome. We all learned a lot. We all managed to do that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, 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 bye. I like it.